So today we are going to do uh, the nurse equation. So today basically it is derivation. I want all of you to keep a notebook and pen and uh, you should write it down. Okay, because you people are MPC students, it, it will be very easy for you. But still, once written is 50 times step. So once you write it down, no, you will come to know what uh, what is going on. Okay. So uh, yesterday we had seen that what is uh, electrochemical series, and we saw that what is electrode potential, um, and what is standard electrode potential. Standard electrode potential means uh, the standard condition should be maintained. The concentration uh, concentration of the solution should be around one molar, and uh, uh, if it is a gas, the partial pressure should be around one atmosphere, and the temperature should be maintained at 25 degrees Celsius. Then such a system electrode potential is known as the standard electrode potential. Always standard electrode potential is denoted as E naught. Okay, E uh, naught. So you can see here we are having E naught. So uh, that is the representation of the standard electrode potential E naught. If it is at any other temperature and at any other concentration, then that will be simple electrode potential of the uh, cell. Okay, of, of the cell. So E is what the electrode potential of any other concentration and temperature. E naught is what electrode potential at standard condition. What is standard condition? 25 degrees Celsius. And one molar concentration of the solution. So here, Nurse was a scientist who actually gave a relationship between the E naught, that is your standard electrode potential, and E, that is the electrode potential, a general electrode potential of a um, cell. Okay. And what does his uh, relationship uh, is written as? It is written as the electrode potential of any half cell is equal to E naught. That is the standard electrode potential minus RP. R is what? The gas constant. What is gas constant? 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. P is what? The absolute temperature divided by N. N is the number of electron which is either accepted or it is given out. Ln of reduced state by oxidized state. This is known as what? The Nerve equation. So here uh, now we we are going to see the Nernst equation in case of a cationic electrode. This is a metal electrode, cationic metal electrode. Since it is a metal electrode, what is happening? The metal, which is in the form of ion inside the solution, is absorbing uh, an electron and it is getting converted into a metal solid. Okay, the reaction goes like this: M N positive. Where is it? In aqueous solution. In aqueous solution means what? It is in the liquid form. It is accepting an electron and then it is getting converted into M solid. Okay. So here if I apply the electrode potential according to the Nernst equation, what is E general electrode potential is equal to Mn positive divided by M. So Mn positive is my metal ion getting converted into the solid metal. That is equal to standard electrode potential of Mn positive uh, oblique M minus Rp by Nf ln of M by Mn positive. Again, let me go back to the uh, previous slide. What is E of electron? This is E of Mn positive by M. That is equal to E naught of Mn uh, positive by M minus RT by NF ln of reduced state upon oxidized state. Again, what is the reduced state? Reduced state is after gaining electron. After gaining electron, it has become M. And oxidized state is what? Losing electron. And when it loses electron, it becomes MN positive. Okay? So, this is reduced state upon oxidized state. But always the concentration of any... your voice is not clear. Okay. okay. Now is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So always the concentration of uh, M that is in the solid state is equal to 1. Okay. Always they have taken. If I show the box bracket means what? Box bracket is the molar concentration of the solid. Molar concentration of the solid is equal to 1. So since this is equal to 1, what will the equation become? E M N by M is equal to E naught M N by M 
minus R T by N F ln of this one is what one by M N positive. Okay. Now this is one by M N positive. If I invert it or I reverse it, bring the denominator to the numerator, what will happen to the sign? The sign from negative will change to positive. So here it was minus. Now it has become what positive. The best. So we are doing the Nernst equation in case of cation. Uh, we were uh, doing in case of cationic electrode. Cationic electrode means what? The electrode is a cathode and it is made up of what? Metal. Okay. Since it is a metal ion which is there in the solution, it is accepting an electron and it is getting converted into metal and it is getting absorbed on the cathode. So according to our Nernst equation, the previous Nernst equation we have seen, what is the electrode potential? Electrode potential is equal to m n positive which is being converted into m so e of mn positive by m is equal to standard electrode potential standard electrode potential again we have to remember that it is 25 degrees celsius and one molar concentration minus rt by nf ln of m by mn positive what is m it is the reduced state mn positive is the oxidized state again understand risk is reduction gain of electron Oil is oxidation, loss of electron. So reduced state will be M, which has gained the electron. Oxidized state is M N positive, which has uh, reduced the, uh, which has uh, lost the electron. So uh, here, uh, active mass, active mass is always shown as the box bracket. So active mass of M, that is the metal, in solid state is always taken as one. So what will happen here? One by M N positive, it will become. So if I want to remove this 1 by mn positive, I can just bring the denominator to the numerator. And how can I do it? By changing the sign from minus to positive. So it will become E mn positive by m is equal to E naught mn positive by m plus RT by nf ln of mn positive. Okay. Now if I want to convert this uh, ln that is log to the base E to log to the base 10, I have to multiply it with 2.303. So uh, uh, conversion can be done by changing it into 2.303 RT by N. Again, let us understand what is E. E, e is the electrode potential of uh, any electrode at any temperature and any concentration. E naught is the standard electrode potential at 25 degrees Celsius and one molar concentration. R is our gas constant. What is it? 8.314 joule per Kelvin per mole. C is the absolute temperature always in degree Kelvin. N is the number of electron. F is the Faraday of electricity that is 96,500 coulombs. And log Mn positive. Mn positive is what the oxidized state. So suppose I take 2.303 into 8.314 into 298 divided by 96,500. I take all these values and calculate what will I get. I will get 0.0591. Okay, so the total uh, Nernst equation in case of cationic electrode, that is metal electrode, will become E M N positive by M is equal to E naught M N positive by M plus 0 0.0591 by N log of M N positive. How did we get this one? By taking 2.303 into putting the value of R, that is 8.314 into putting the value of C. That is 298, that is 25 degrees Celsius, dividing by F, that is 96,500. When we do all these things, we'll get 0 0.0591. So this is the final equation for the cationic electrode. Have you understood this one? Yes. Should I proceed to the next slide now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So let me go to the next slide now. Okay, this is Nernst equation in case of anionic electrode. That was what cationic electrode. Cationic electrode means it was a cathode and it was a metal. This is the anode and it is a non-metal. Non-metal, it can be a hydrogen electrode, it can be a calomel electrode, or it can be a oxygen electrode, it can be a chlorine electrode, or a bromine electrode, any electrode which is non-metal and which is acting as the anode. So here how the reaction proceeds. Let A be a non-metal, okay, A be a non-metal, it is a gas. Let's take hydrogen also, hydrogen is a gas. So, it has accepted N electron and it is being converted into A N negative. So, any non-metal gas is take, accepting the 
the electron and it is getting converted into a n negative this is which type of reaction a reversible reaction so there will be a forward reaction and a backward reaction which will be taking place continuously uh, uh, again we are applying the same nerve equation so e that is electrode potential of a being converted into a n minus so e a by a n minus is equal to what e not of a by a n minus e not of a by a n minus minus rt by nf log of reduced state upon oxidized state which is the reduced state a n minus upon a okay again here the concentration of a is equal to 1 like the previous one in the metal also it was 1 here also the concentration of a is equal to 1 so what it will become e is equal to a by a n minus that is equal to e not by a upon a n a n minus minus rt by nf law no this denominator will become one no so it will be only the numerator that is a n minus a n minus so here what it will become uh, it will become e a by a n minus is equal to e not a by a n minus now here we don't have any uh, change of sign uh, you have seen in our previous one what had happened the minus had become positive because we brought the denominator to the numerator in this case what is happening in this case what is happening we are not bringing any denominator to the numerator the numerator is just like that so that's the reason what is happening we are having minus 2.30 rt by nf log of a n minus here what we have converted log to the base e is being converted to log to the base 10 so that's the reason i am multiplying it with 2.303 okay but i am not changing the sign this is the difference between your cathodic electrode and anodic electrode in cathodic electrode you have a positive sign in anodic electrode you have a minus sign that's the only difference now again substituting the value children 2.303 into 8.314 into 298 divided by 96500 when i calculate the whole thing always i'll get 0.0591 by n so at 298 kelvin the nerve equation for the anodic electrode will become like this that is electrode potential at any temperature any concentration minus standard electrode potential minus 0.0591 divided by n n is the number of electron log of what is this reduced state okay so that the concentration of non metal ion in aqueous solution and n is the number of moles of electrons involved in the electrode reaction so we have seen nerve equation in two cases one is the cathodic electrode and another one is the anodic electrode cathodic electrode was the metal electrode and anodic electrode is the non metal electrode let's proceed further ahead now so here we are seeing uh, the same uh, thing if the cell reaction is at equilibrium now we are considering one cell reaction which is at equilibrium okay so uh, what is our cell reaction aa plus bb the uh, reversible cc plus bt okay so what is the small letter a b c d these are the number of moles uh, for example if i give one uh, uh, reaction uh, let me write it here uh, n2 n2 plus 3 h2 um reversible give 2 nh3 so in this case what is uh, uh, the a value for n2 1 what is the b value for h3 3 and what is the c value for nh3 2 so what does this mean this means the number of moles which are there okay so small a small g small c small d are the number of moles which are present in any cell reaction this reaction which i have written is which reaction children haber's process preparation of ammonia nitrogen plus 3 hydrogen reversible gives 2 nh3 this is the preparation of ammonia now whenever there is a equilibrium there is always an equilibrium constant now what is the equilibrium constant we have to apply the law of mass action 
what is law of mass action according to the law of mass action it is the product of the product divided by the product of the reaction now understand product means multiplication here of the product means what is being formed in the product side divided by the product again product is the multiplication of the reaction so which was the product c and d are the product so it is the multiplication of the active mass of c and d divided by multiplication of the active mass of a and d raised to the power of how much how many number of moles are present okay in the cell reaction so here we can substitute one formula that is delta g and delta g not what is delta g it is the uh, uh, change in gibbs free energy and what is delta g not it is the change in the gibbs free energy under standard condition again standard condition remember 25 degree celsius and one molar concentration and one atmospheric pressure that is the standard condition so according to our thermodynamics we know that delta g is equal to minus ns e of cell and delta g not is equal to minus ns e not of the cell plus rt log k equilibrium what is k equilibrium it is the equilibrium constant for any reaction when it is undergoing equilibrium uh, forward and backward reaction at a particular temperature and particular concentration there will be the rate of the forward reaction will become equal to the rate of the backward reaction and that is known as k equilibrium that is the rate of the equilibrium okay how is it given it is the product of the product divided by product of the reactant and which law we are using here we are using the law of mass action so minus ns e of cell is equal to what minus nf minus nf if i cancel it off it will become minus e of cell is equal to minus e not of cell plus rt by nf ln of k equilibrium removing the minus sign i get e cell is equal to e not cell minus rt by nf ln of k equilibrium okay again k equilibrium value is what c into d by a into b substituting that value i'll get this expression now suppose this is in log to the base e i want to convert to log to the base 10 so what should i do i should multiply it with 2.33 so e cell is equal to e not of cell minus 2.303 rt by nf log of product of the product divided by product of the reactant raised to the respective power this is the nernst equation when the cell reaction is in equilibrium so we have seen three cases first one nernst equation in anodic uh, electrode when the anodic electrode is metal second one nernst equation in cathodic electrode when the cathodic electrode is non metal and the third we saw the nernst equation at equilibrium okay three things we have seen now now let's see let's come to the application of the uh, nernst equation children application of emf of measure so we have seen nernst equation what is nernst equation nernst equation in anodic electrode which is metal nernst equation in cathodic electrode which is non metal and we have uh, seen the nernst equation and how we can calculate the emf of a cell okay emf of a cell that is also you can take a galvanic cell or a voltaic cell or any reversible cell we have seen these three uh, situations now let's see the application of emf of measurement here we can do uh, two things uh, like we can do many things let's see the first one calculation of thermodynamic quantity of a cell reaction then calculation of free energy delta g of the cell reaction now here we have to understand that in thermodynamic Uh, in inter we had studied enthalpy entropy gibbs free energy gibbs helmholtz equation work function uh, all these things uh, free energy all these things we had studied in our inter so here we will correlate that okay so here what we are doing is 
calculation of thermodynamic quantity and which is the thermodynamic quantity delta d is the thermodynamic quantity let's see some of the basic concepts what is gibbs free energy gibbs free energy is the energy which is required to do useful work done and how is it related to your electrode potential by one formula children delta g not is equal to minus mf e not what is delta g not standard gibbs free energy zero means not means standard standard condition means 25 degree and one molar solution okay so gibbs free energy under standard condition n is what number of mole f is what faraday of electricity that is equal to how much 96500 coulomb e not of the cell is what e not of the cell is e not of the cell is uh, the electrode potential under um, standard condition okay so delta g not is equal to minus ns e not this is under standard condition if it is only under regular condition then this will become delta g is equal to minus n f e of cell okay so here let's see the calculation of a equilibrium constant calculation of the equilibrium constant we know that delta g is equal to delta g not plus rt ln k u okay delta g is equal to delta g not plus rt ln q okay just now we have seen how we got this what is delta g change in the gibbs free energy okay what is r gas constant what is c absolute temperature what is q q is nothing but your k equilibrium only q is equal to your k equilibrium only and what is k equilibrium product of the products to that of the products of the reactant that is your k equilibrium so when there is a equilibrium the delta g change in the gibbs free energy is equal to forward reaction and the backward reaction both of them they will become equal means the subtraction is always equal to zero so delta g is equal to zero when the situation is at equilibrium so what will be delta g not equal to minus rt ln k uh, equilibrium so converting this ln log to the base e to log to the base 10 what i have to multiply it with 2.303 so delta g not is equal to minus 2.303 rt log k equilibrium now what is log k equilibrium take this 2.303 rt down so it will become log k equilibrium is equal to minus delta g not by 2.303 rt now if i want to convert this into log to the base e i will remove the 2.303 so log k equilibrium is equal to minus delta g not by rt So what is k equilibrium equal to? Take the antilog. Okay, take the antilog. So e to the power the whole of this thing minus delta g naught by R T that is equal to k equilibrium. So what is our uh, delta g naught in the starting we saw? It is minus n f e naught. Substituting our uh, value of uh, here delta g naught. Substituting this value, what will I get? k the log k equilibrium is equal to minus delta g not and what is minus delta g not n f e not so n f e not of the cell by r t okay i have converted log to log to the base e so that's why i have multiplied it with 2.303 now if i want only k equilibrium i have to take this log and do anti log on the right hand side so anti log of n f e not of the cell by 2.303 r t Okay, so k equilibrium is equal to n e naught of the cell by 0.0591 in x 298 kelvin. How did I get this value? Observe 2.303 into 8.314 into 298 divide um, uh, means uh, f is what 96,500. When you do all these uh, calculation, you will get 0.05. So by this expression, you can actually calculate the k equilibrium of any set okay this is one of it another one application is determination of the ph using hydrogen electrode so this reaction of hydrogen electrode yesterday uh, and day before yesterday we saw how the hydrogen electrode is con uh, constructed we have one molar uh, hydrogen gas passed continuously uh, and there is a platinum uh, electrode and there is a one molar concentration solution of hcl hcl is having which type of ion h positive ion and then uh, which gas is passed hydrogen gas is passed and uh, uh, what is the electrode platinum inert electrode is there and which type of uh, reaction is taking place 
H positive, this is in the adverse condition, is accepting the electron and getting converted into half hydrogen. This is a gas at one atmospheric pressure. Again, for this reaction, we can uh, we can uh, substitute the Nernst equation. We have E is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT by F log of reduced state by oxidized state. No, so H2 by H positive. Okay, H2 by H positive. So this is it. So pressure of H2 uh, is equal to one atmosphere. So I can take here as one atmosphere. And uh, to bring the denominator to the numerator, what I have to do to this minus sign? I have to convert it into positive sign. So E is equal to E naught plus 2.303 RT by F log of H positive. But we know that the standard sheet, standard hydrogen electrode potential of a hydrogen electrode or a reference electrode is taken as 0, 0.00 volt. So, what will be E equal to? E is equal to taking this as 0 plus 2.303 RT by F log of H positive. So, uh, here again substitute the value. R is what? 8.314. T is what? 298. F is what? 96,500. By doing all this calculation, what will I get? 0 0.0591. So, at 25 degrees Celsius, E is equal to 0 0.0591 log of H positive. By this, I can calculate the pH. Okay, let's see how to calculate the pH. What is pH? pH was given by a scientist named Sorensen. Okay, Sorensen was the scientist who gave the pH. It is also known as the power of hydrogen or protons of hydrogen. Power of hydrogen or protons of hydrogen. So, if I take the negative of the previous equation, I'll get E is equal to minus 0 0.0591 minus log H positive. Negative logarithm of H positive ion is nothing but pH. So, in this place, I can put pH and I can say that electrode potential is equal to minus 0 0.0591 pH. So, if I know the electrode potential of a hydrogen gas, just by dividing it with 0 0.0591, I can calculate the pH of the gas. Um, uh, pH of the uh, system. Okay, let's take one example. Here I'm taking one example where I'm having a hydrogen electrode which is in contact with a calomel electrode. Okay, this is which electrode on the right hand side you can see it is a calomel electrode. On the left hand side there is a hydrogen electrode. What is the total EMF? Total EMF is equal to E right minus E left. Okay, you know that the E right of the calomel electrode is always a standard 0 0.2422 volt. Okay, E left is equal to just now we calculated minus 0 0.0591 pH. That is there. So by substituting that value, minus of minus will become what? It will become a positive. So pH is equal to what? E minus 0 0.2422 by 0 0.0591. So if you have a system or you, if you have a cell which is having hydrogen electrode and calomel electrode together, by using this formula, you can actually calculate the uh, pH of the cell. Let's go to another example. Here we are having, again, we had seen this twin hydron and quinol, uh, quinon uh, electrode. So uh, quinon is having double bond O. It is accepting two electron and two H positive, and in this place it is becoming OH, and in this place it is becoming OH, and you are having a twin hydron. So here also by applying Nernst equation, what will I get? E is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT by 2F log of twin hydron divided by Q uh, into H positive raised to two because two is there, no? So that's why raised to two will be there. So here E naught is uh, by uh, taking means by separating this. We will get E naught plus 2.303 RT by 2F log of Q by QH2 plus 2.303 RT by 2F log of H positive base to the power 2. Yes, Maggie? Okay. So here uh, by yeah, by this formula again you can uh, know what is the quinone and twin hydron concentration and log H positive, and then you can uh, calculate the EMF of the cell, okay? This is another one example where you have a calomel electrode and you have an oxygen electrode. So here also what is happening, potential of saturated calomel electrode, you know it is 0 0.2422, 
potential of quinhydron electrode E naught minus 0.0591 pH is there. E right minus E left is equal to cell. Substitute these values here. And then when you calculate it, you will get pH is equal to 0.4574 minus E of cell 